Rahman Rahim. Uh, thank you, Zulfikar Sahab, uh, for invite uh, for inviting me and uh, also uh, to allow me to participate with such a distinguished panel that is here. Um, let me start, you know, first of all, by saying that uh, when this government came in, uh, we were staring at a very bleak economic situation, and. Uh, the evidence of that is that uh, we were forced to go to the IMF, a, a prescription that one only adopts in times of real stress. And uh, resources had to be mobilized, tough decisions had to be taken. Uh, and what I want to do is uh, quickly run down with you uh, the uh, state of the economy and the areas in which it was beginning to do well just before the coronavirus struck us. So first, you know, the current account deficit was inherited at uh, 20 billion. It was brought down to 3 billion US. The exchange rate was allowed to function on the lines of a more market-driven uh, policy, and it was stable. Uh, the primary balance, and this is a very important point, uh, for us to know that the primary balance, which is the difference between the government's earnings and its expenditure, was positive. That has hardly happened in Pakistan. So, and that's an indication of how aggressively the expenditures were managed. No supplementary grants were given, no borrowing was undertaken from the state bank. And uh, it was uh, maintained at a positive level, 194 billion. Uh, then, you know, in the last five years before this government, the growth rate of exports, uh, and, and, and the world recognizes that no country has really developed without uh, finding a way to sell their products to the outside world. The growth rate of exports in the last five years of the previous government was 0%. And that had to be remedied, and a lot of steps were undertaken to begin to do that, in addition to correcting a exchange rate that made the dollar and therefore imported items uh, less expensive, flooding the local markets and creating huge imbalances in the external sector. So the other point on the revenue, uh, revenue was mobilized. It wasn't uh, at a level that one would say was meeting our ambitious targets, but it was mobilized at the rate of 17%. If you allow for the loss on the uh, tariff income side because of policy-induced compression of imports, the rate was 27%. It's not uh, a, an ordinary achievement. Uh, at the same time, uh, refunds to the businesses were more than doubled. 250 billion uh, were returned in refunds, which is more than double last year and perhaps the highest ever. FDI was increased to uh, more than 137%, again, more than double last year. And we had good ratings and uh, appreciation by the board of the IMF, by Moody's, by Bloomberg, which in December 2019 called the Pakistani stock market, the best functioning stock market in the world. Now, of course, uh, this was all happening while we were giving the subsidies to our export sector in the form of uh, electricity pricing, uh, gas pricing, subsidization of uh, loans, and uh, a no tax regime. And at the same time, we said we will look after the vulnerable people of Pakistan, the forgotten people of Pakistan. And an extraordinary uh, budgetary increase was made when the budget was for the uh, social safety programs was uh, almost doubled from 100 billion to 192 billion. And you can see, I think the world as a whole and fair-minded people think that program to be a fairly transparent uh, a fairly transparent and well-run program without considerations of politics or uh, regionalism or any other consideration. If you are a Pakistani and you are uh, 
poor up to a targeted point, then you are a good recipient for this facility. Now, of course, Corona changed all that. And it's too soon to say what the overall consequences of that will be. But some estimates run that the loss to the GDP could be as high as 3 trillion rupees. Similarly, the Federal Board of Revenue, even if it performed at the 17% growth, was hoping to get to 4.6 to 4.8 trillion. Uh, now we will be, I think, uh, struggling very hard to get to 3.9. So you could argue that maybe there was a loss of 600, up to 600 billion or so in the uh, revenue. Similarly, exports were struck, remittances were struck, trade, large-scale manufacturing, industry in general because of the luck, because of the lockdowns. So, government had to respond. And I think again, we, given the budgetary constraints that we are in, we try to do the best, and we came with a budgetary uh, stimulus package of about 1.2 trillion. Or, uh, uh, you know, iske do component the. Ek to ye tha ke jo hamare uh, log jo sabse zada dikkat mein hain, unko jitna jald cash pahunchaya jaye. Or, uh, ek crore saath lakh khandano ko ye facility di ja rahi hai. Or, ek crore se zada ko di ja chuki hai. Jis mein baara hazaar rupay diye ja rahe hain. Agar har khandan ke chhe se saath log hain, to andazan koi 10 crore logon ko pakistan ke ye uh, cash jo hai which is uh, surpassing 150 uh, and now 170 billion rupees is being given aur sari duniya dekh rahi hai ke har kasbe har gaon har shehar mein logon ko ek imandari se aur acche andaaz mein ye support di ja rahi hai aur isme koi consideration siyasi ya mazhabi ya ilaqai nahi lai ja rahi hai dusri janib the other part of the package is ke hum kis andaaz mein ek balance strike kare between protecting the people and their health but at the same time jo khatra hai ke agar economy bahut arse tak lockdown rahi to uske jo maashi asrat hain wo logon pe itne zyada honge khususi taur pe kamzor tabqon pe ke we will have a major calamity on our hands to us wajah se businesses ko bhi marahat di gayi aur usme payroll expenses ki jo scheme hai that has been subsidized principal which come becomes due that is being deferred for a year uh, bijli ke bill jo hai 3 mahine ke chote commercial enterprises all across the country uh, unke hukumat pay kar rahi hai these are not de uh, deferrals but rather payments by the government and uh, many other windows have been uh, adopted jisme 50 billion agriculture ko diya ja raha hai 50 billion utility stores ko diya ja raha hai taaki middle class logon ko bhi fayda ho aur subsidies wagera unko di jaye so this is uh, you know just uh, the corona virus and its uh, and the government's attempt to react to it again ab jab naye budget ki baat aati hai to pehli cheez to ye hai ki this corona virus ki jo uh, एक सिचुएशन है उसके बारे में कोई भी सर्टेनटी से नहीं कह सकता कि ये कितने अरसे चलेगी इसकी शिद्दत किस तरह से होगी एंड कितने लोग मुतासिर रहेंगे सो दैट इज एन अनसर्टेनटी दैट इज इनहेरेंट इन द नेचर ऑफ थिंग्स अब उसके बावजूद हमने तीन बड़े फैसले किए एक तो ये कि इवन दो रेवेन्यू रिक्वायरमेंट इज ए कंसीडरेशन और मैं आपको एक चीज सिर्फ समझा दूं रेवेन्यूज के बारे में और फेडरल गवर्नमेंट का उसमें कितना शेयर होता है देखें अगर 4000 अरब रेज किए जाएं तो तकरीबन 60% जो है सूबों को आजाद जम्मू और एंड कश्मीर और गिलगित बल्तिस्तान को दे दिए जाते हैं तो अगर 4000 रेज किया जाए तो उसमें से बमुश्किल 1300 uh, FBR related koi income le le, to 
लेट्स जस्ट राउंड इट अप कि ये 2000 अरब फेडरल गवर्नमेंट के होते हैं अब आप अंदाजा करें कि 2000 बिलियन आपकी टोटल एनवलप है और आपको 2700 बिलियन जो हैं वो फकत जो पास्ट के लोन्स हैं उनकी जो रीपेमेंट्स इस साल की हैं वो है सो ऑन डे वन यू स्टार्ट विद अ नेगेटिव 700 बिलियन और इसकी कोई तदारक नहीं है बिकॉज वी हैव कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अरेंजमेंट्स दैट रिक्वायर यू टू पे दिस अमाउंट टू द provincial governments and it's for a good cause ke wahan pe education health drinking water municipal services police services gender relations uh, you know mother and child benefits and all those things are there so if you want to influence the quality of life of our citizens we have to dedicate those funds to the provinces and then you know the challenge is to use them wisely and efficiently लेकिन ये एक अंदाजा कर लें कि हमारी सिचुएशन जो है किस तरह से है नाउ उसके बावजूद हमने कहा कि ये ऐसा मौका नहीं है टू बी हैवी हैंडेड ऑन द टैक्स कलेक्शन साइड एंड देयर फोर वी हैव नॉट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एनी न्यू टैक्स एट द सेम टाइम वी सेड कि वी विल गिव आर पीपल अ लॉट ऑफ टैक्स रिलीफ यू कैन कॉल इट uh at the same time we wanted to eliminate lot of the uh, taxes that add to the cost of doing business or that will now contribute towards the ease of doing business to main aap se kuch share karna chahta hu ki wo humne kya kiye pehli baat ki on the tariff side there are 1623 lines of uh, raw material which will add up to thousands of items of raw material just pay all duties were eliminated and they were brought to zero so maine kaha ki agar isko zero nahi karenge to haggling chalti rahegi aur harassment ki ki possibilities hongi so for thousands of raw material we have brought the duties to zero similarly for 200 type of uh items which will run uh, 200 lines which will run to about 3000 items we have decreased the uh, customs duty and for 166 items we have decreased the regulatory duty so what i'm trying to say is that about 20 to 25% of all uh, imports unki duty jo hai ya to mukammal khatam kar di gayi hai ya kafi kam ki gayi hai this is Uh, on on the uh, duty side then uh, 10 types of withholding taxes have been completely eliminated similarly jo import ke upar withholding tax 5.5% ki thi usko 1 ya 2% kar diya gaya hai at the same time we gave a historic uh, you know package for construction sector jisme hume imf se kafi behas karna pada aur kafi उनसे नेगोशिएट करना पड़ा वी वर एबल टू गेट दैट नॉट टू री इनफोर्स दैट वी आर गिविंग अ कैपिटल गेन्स टैक्स कंसेशन जिसको हम आधा कर रहे हैं द आइडिया इज टू मोटिवेट एज मच कंस्ट्रक्शन एज पॉसिबल सिमिलरली ऑन द एक्सपेंडिचर साइड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग के वी आर रियली अग्रेसिवली कटिंग द एक्सपेंडिचर अक्रॉस द बोर्ड तो इसमें आपने देखा कि पाकिस्तान के अंदर ऐसी सिचुएशन में जबकि वी हैव अ डिफिकल्ट नेबरहुड एंड वी हैव पीपल वांटिंग टू क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम फॉर अस एंड वी आर पिटेड अगेंस्ट फॉर्मिडेबल एडवर्सरीज लास्ट ईयर एंड यू नो आई शुड थैंक जनरल बाजवा एज वेल दैट आई वी फ्रोज द मिलिट्री एक्सपेंडिचर इन नॉमिनल टर्म्स दैट मीन्स के रियल टर्म्स में वी वेंट फॉर अ डिक्लाइन and this year also we had that uh major, major very tough decision ki humne kaha ki we will not increase it beyond the uh, you know inflation so in real terms there's no increase in military expenditures and in civilian expenditures we have in fact cut cut it down by 20% or pakistan mein you know we must give a lot of credit to the prime minister for standing up and saying Okay, there will be no pay increases. These are dramatically uh, tough decisions, and I think these have been taken because 
uh, the times uh, require those to be taken. And uh, the areas where we have tried that we don't is one is the PSTP, which is uh, annual development program. Hota hai. So last year, it was 500 plus. Uh, us te, so this year, we are keeping it at 650. And we are hoping they will tailor it in such a way that we go for labor-intensive programs. Taki jo log is waqt hurt kar rahe hain, unke liye job creation ho. And uh, jo subsidies hain, us mein bhi humne koi sao billion ki kami karne ki koshish ki hai. Because we want to look at the whole regime of subsidies and try and improve the quality of subsidies and ensure ke uh, they are better targeted. And now that we have this highway of SAS to try and utilize it more so then to give it in ad hoc terms where some of the benefits are siphoned away by middle people or uh, not the intended uh, targets. Uh, now, I want to just uh, conclude by saying that the coronavirus or its implications are not yet clear. If it increases its severity, then so we would need to rethink about some of our you know, uh, targets or budgetary allocations. Also, if you think that our revenue cut target is uh, we are, some people are saying, ke, or, uh, you know, ke it's a little ambitious. Um, yes. At the same time, they can, we have a tax to GDP ratio of 11%. That also cannot go on because we are just unable to borrow more. Or I borrowing ke bare mein aapko ye bata dun. Or iske upar ho sakta hai mazid questions ho. So I would like to comment on this whole business of debt. कि ये किसने लिया क्यों लिया कहां गया और उसकी इस वक्त क्या कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस हैं और हाउ इट इज स्क्वीजिंग आवर रूम फॉर मैन्यूवर सो वी कैन हैव अ फ्रैंक एंड कैंडिड डिस्कशन विदाउट मेकिंग इट टू पार्टिसन बिकॉज़ आई थिंक पाकिस्तान के कुछ फेलियर्स हैं व्हिच रन अक्रॉस गवर्नमेंट्स चाहे मिलिट्री हो सिविलियन हो किसी की भी गवर्नमेंट हो वी हैव फेल्ड टू integrate ourselves globally into the mainstream economy. We have failed to generate exports or foreign investment, irrespective of who is in power. We have failed to really tackle the issue of state-owned enterprises, except for a brief period under President Musharraf when some serious privatizations took place. And we have created very large structures of government, and they are siphoning away a lot of uh, our national um, resources in the form of unproductive employment in these state enterprises and in main cadres of the government. So we have to think about these things and uh, inshallah we can have a good discussion and uh, yeah. I look forward to it. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, let me apologize that I had at uh, some points to leave this uh, conversation because I was supposed to speak at an event where President Erdogan of Turkey was the chief guest. And um, since that was already committed before this, I could not get out of it. And it would have been disrespectful if I had not, you know, gone and uh, given a short speech. So, uh, so we understand I missed out. I, I missed out on some of the comments of uh, Mifta. While I was here, he was busy defending uh, the previous government. And uh, uh, so when he did get to the budget, I was not here. But if he did give this suggestion, which was seconded by others, that uh, there should be a shared understanding of the problems we face and a, and a you know, sort of a bipartisan consensus and if not consensus at least a meeting of the minds that uh, we have long-standing issues they relate to uh, debt and its uh, accumulation they relate to the ever-growing um, salaries and pension bill of uh, the provincial and national government uh, they relate to 
human development and uh, how to start taking better care of our neglected uh, citizens. They relate to having a shared view on uh, how to take some tough decisions on the role of the government, which is excessive. And uh, so I think any, any movement in that direction, uh, I would welcome it. Um, at the same time, you know what's important is not what is said, but what is done. And I think uh, it has been said many a time that actions speak louder than words. So Mifta Saab is a, is a decent guy, he's a sweet guy. He has, I think, good ideas. But uh, whoever matters in these leadership circles should, uh, you know, take up these points. And I think uh, the country as a whole can only welcome that. Now, I want to also acknowledge uh, some of the uh, comments that I heard from uh, Farooq uh, Sahab, as well as just the concluding point of Hassan Malik's. I think they have made uh, good suggestions. And we should, we would be looking at those carefully. Um, I didn't uh, uh, hear bulk of uh, what Dr. Shamshad Akhtar Sahiba said, but she's, a, you know, obviously a very knowledgeable and uh, balanced uh, uh, person with a lot of experience. So uh, I'll get separately in touch with her and try and find out what she has to say and if there's anything of a guidance in that we like to take that also from her so jahan sir, tak we'll also can... try to cover we, we, sir, we'll also try to cover what dr shimshad sahib has said in a uh, follow up question okay to yahan par dekhen ji jo public finance management act hua aur in sab ka buniyadi maqsad to yahi hai na ki expenditure management ho transparency ho aur tareekon ko efficient kiya jaye it's all a part of the drive for better institutional management, better, you know, uh, assignment of roles. And you've seen also that we have granted a autonomy to the central bank. Can it be said that, uh, you know, this level of autonomy was granted to the central bank before? No. We've also endured some criticism on the policy rate and so on, but we have resisted uh, you know, trying to intervene in the workings of the Monetary Policy Committee and so on, because we do genuinely believe that uh, these roles have to be preserved. Ab, uh, expenditure management ka, aap dekhen ke kya kabhi aise hua hai ke expenditure management nominal terms mein girai gai ho? Ya ye ke uh, military ke expenditures ko freeze kiya gaya ho? So I think a lot of tough decisions have been made. And somebody pointed out to the fiscal deficit number being said, you know, this percent or that percent. Look, uh, it is a fact that the primary balance was in surplus. Is it not? Was it not uh, in surplus? Has it happened before? So there are some things that are in our we can control them. And we did, in spite of very, very tough uh, odds. And that number at the end of the you know, nine-month period was surplus because we could control our expenditures. Now, if we have to pay 2.7 trillion in you know, interest, I mean, uh, it's, I can't do much about it. Now, if you say that because it will be seen as a criticism of the past, then that's not fair. Just like people are free and have opinions and uh, can legitimately criticize us if we are borrowing uh, for the wrong reasons, then that's fair, fair criticism. We have to, uh, you know, endure it and we have to try and respond to it in a, without losing our cool or without accusing the other person uh, needlessly. लेकिन ये तो फैक्ट्स हैं ना ये फैक्ट है कि हमारे पास अगर 2 बिलियन का एनवेलोप है और उसमें 2.7 ट्रिलियन देने हैं तो क्लियरली द फिजिकल डेफिसिट नंबर विल लुक अ सर्टेन यू नो इट वोंट बी अ वेरी हैप्पी नंबर बट व्हाट वी नीड टू जज इन अ फेयर वे इज वेदर वी हैव बीन स्पेंडिंग लैविशली वेदर वी हैव नॉट कट एक्सपेंडिचर्स 
including those of the president, the prime minister, uh, you know, and across the board. If somebody can point out that in this particular area, you have a expenditures, then that would be legitimate. And I can it go well. Because I'm trying to strike a you know, professional and bipartisan tone here. I know how to criticize and I know how to respond to certain types of criticism. But, you know, this is a dialogue involving a lot of serious uh, professionals from all around the world. And therefore, we want to maintain a level of decorum and professionalism and seriousness about the issues. So let me say, okay, uh, for example, SOE reform, it's an area we haven't done so well and we need to get on with it. Privatization, we haven't done so well. I must say okay, we were very close to uh, two large privatizations of the electricity sector, but you know, events intervened in the form of Corona. I don't want to blame everything on Corona. That's not, you know, the way I want to project it. But in fact, there were Chinese uh, investors and Russian and others who were unable to participate and requested kisko piche kiya jai. To kiya gaya, but that's an area we haven't done so well. Uh, similarly, I think pension reform, it's a big, big time bomb that's beginning to tick away. And we need to start addressing it. I think we have set up a pension um, committee and uh, headed by Mr. Wajid Rana, who is a former finance secretary. And we, we want to begin uh, tackling this issue. Another area where we, I think, have not done uh, so well and we need to start doing well and hopefully we will is the regulatory uh, regimes. Because the Competition Commission of Pakistan in particular it has to be strengthened, it has to be empowered, it has to be motivated to, you know, try and see okay, what are the imperfections in the markets, what are the uh, non-competitive forces in the market, and how they are impacting upon uh, prices and, uh, you know, the welfare of the people. So these areas are, and in addition, we need to better coordinate between the center and the provinces. Because, for example, the issue of inflation, اب میں پیاز کی قیمت بیٹھ کے یہاں پہ اسلام آباد میں یا پرائم منسٹر کین کنٹرول اپ ٹو اے پوائنٹ بیکاز اٹ انوالوز دی مشینری آف پروونسز اینڈ ڈسٹرکٹ سو دیر ون ڈزنٹ وانٹ ٹو اسکیپ اینی یو نو ریسپانسبلٹی اور اکاؤنٹیبلٹی آن دیٹ اسکور بٹ اٹ ریکوائرس اے ملٹی لیئرڈ فل گورنمنٹ ریسپانس ٹو ڈیل وتھ سرٹن ٹائپ آف ایشوز اینڈ آئی تھنک Or we can and we should be doing a better job. Thank you, Sheikh Sir. Thank you. Uh, there is one more question to you, um, uh, which has been touched upon by Hassan Sab also, and um, I thought it would be appropriate to ask. Uh, the medium term budget strategy paper that was shared with uh, in March, that also went towards that, where, and that has been a stated policy of the government also over a period of time. to move towards more direct taxes by enforcing real income-based taxation. Mm -hmm. But we see over the period that um, in respect of income-based taxation, none of the so-called presumptive, final, fixed, minimum, alternative tax regimes, these have not been done away with. Rather, uh, with some changes, um, it doesn't seem that an effort is being made in, 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 in the reduction of uh, these taxes and moving towards real income-based taxes. So if you could just give some, um, you know, view about that also, that how you're looking at that, sir. Yes, uh, I think Zulfikar Saab, that's an uh, excellent question. And this is a, a common kind of a criticism by uh, mm, well-informed people, also some uh, traditional uh, opponents. KG Pakistan may the indirect taxes yada hain or direct taxes come hain. Or clearly, as the stage of development, uh, you know, improves, wo balance jo hai shift hota hai towards income compared to indirect taxes. Um, we tried ki last year that the number of taxpayers hai, unki jo register ki jai, wo badhai jai. Aur ye takriban, uh, lakh se lakh ki gai. Now, mm, we are in a situation of a peculiar sort. And it doesn't seem right that we are aggressively or heavy-handed 
तरीके से लोगों से इनकम टैक्स निकलवाने के पीछे पड़ जाए लेकिन एक डेटा जो है वो बनाया गया है और आई थिंक एफ और नादरा की जो कोऑर्डिनेशन है उसको भी बेहतर किया गया है एंड दैट्स द डायरेक्शन इन विच वी आर हेडेड और डॉक्टर इशरत को भी ये जिम्मेदारी दी गई है कि एफ के अंदर मजीद जो है रिफॉर्म्स हों और वर्ल्ड बैंक के साथ एक ऑटोमेशन का भी प्रोजेक्ट शुरू किया गया है जिसमें ज्यादा अच्छे अंदाज में प्रोग्रेस होगी सो यस यू आर राइट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स एन एरिया वी नीड टू बिगिन डूइंग मोर आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज एग्जैक्टली द राइट टाइम बट यू नो तीन से छह महीने के बाद वी कैन बिगिन आई थिंक to give it uh, the kind of bite uh, that uh, this requires and the bite, and 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 you know have a much uh, clearer strategy because it's not just a question of bite alone it's a question of designing the right incentives to motivate people ab isme humne ye kiya hai ki jaise point of sale uh, ke jo uh, uh, units hain jo uh, bade shops hain trading uh, outposts hain वो अगर फेड एफ बी आर के साथ अपने आप को कनेक्ट कर दें द पॉइंट ऑफ सेल इफ इट इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द एफ बी आर विद एफ बी आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली वी हैव जस्ट सेड कि देयर सेल्स टैक्स विल बी इनफैक्ट रिड्यूस्ड पहले वो सत्रह परसेंट की बजाय चौदह परसेंट था अब हमने उसको मजीद गिराया है बारह परसेंट किया है ताकि उनको इंसेंटिव हो आने के लिए सिस्टम में और इसी तरह की और भी चीजें हैं जो मैं बोर नहीं करना चाहता हूं आपकी ऑडियंस को बाय गोइंग इनटू सच डिटेल जी देखिए दिस वाज एन एक्सेलेंट डिस्कशन देयर वाज द यूजुअल पॉलिटिकल नेट पिकिंग बाय वन और द अदर देयर वर थियोरेटिकल पॉइंट्स नॉट वेरी हेल्पफुल इन प्रैक्टिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग and there was some repetition of the obvious um, which in some ways is a good thing uh but much more importantly i learned a lot i think there was a uh sober reflection there was a a generation of excellent suggestions and some uh, you know um legitimate criticism as well so i want to thank uh, my uh, distinguished colleagues on the panel for that we do have a lot of problems and i think uh, the challenge is how to keep navigating through that and uh, nothing is straight forward one is trying to balance in a noisy democracy the room for maneuver is very limited and if it was just a uh, well intentioned people in a framework of making good points uh, that would be you know one could cope with it more easily but there are vested interests there are strong um forces that don't want one or the other uh, group to succeed and that's all of a uh, fact of life to mere khayal mein हम क्यों ये कहते हैं कि हमें दिक्कत में हुकूमत मिली इसलिए कि एक्सचेंज रिजर्व जो है बिल्कुल खत्म हो चुके थे इसलिए कि बहुत डॉलर्स जो है फूके गए इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिजर्व ए फैंटसी ऑफ एन एक्सचेंज रेट दीज वर द डॉलर्स ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ पाकिस्तान and you know it's okay to talk about 4% growth rate versus 3% growth rate but the important thing is not just the growth rate but what is the source of that growth rate what is the quality of that growth rate what are the components of that growth rate it's not uh, i don't think it's uh it's a sign to boast about a 4% growth rate when export growth rate for the entire tenure has been 0% 
people can borrow and spend, and that also contributes towards the growth rate. So as we move forward, you know, uh, I would make a humble request and in the public space, I would say, let us, uh, you know, curb our cynicism. Let us try and reduce our passion for excessive partisanship. And let us uh, continue to, you know, recognize each other's constraints and the requirements uh, of the moment. So I want to, you know, um, express humility. I want to say that, uh, you know, we do face a difficult situation, but inshallah, we will try our best. I do, uh, you know, uh, मैं क्या कह सकता हूँ कि मुझे अल्लाह ताला ने ये मौका दिया कि 20 मुल्कों में काम किया और this is my uh, sixth uh, chief executive I'm working with and he in some ways is unique in Pakistani history because he really uh, wants to work to get things done he has no family or friends that he wants to promote he's not trying to build an empire. He's not trying to, you know, develop the political careers of his children. And in that way, he is unique. And I think it's very important. Um, and this is something that motivates me, that we should try and work as hard as possible so that this country can fulfill its destiny. And, you know, I want to thank you, uh, Asfar Essan Sahab, and uh, all the rest, and Zufkar Sahab. And inshallah, we should continue to have these kind of dialogues. And um, I'm once again grateful to my uh, panelists for their, you know, considered opinions. I've learned a lot. Thank you very much.